I'm here with Jar Morgan, who's the CEO of the uh, City of Waterford VEC. Uh, we had a meeting with an advisor to Rory Quinn in relation to the decision that was made to place the administrative headquarters of the VEC uh, in Wexford and not in Waterford. Uh, we believe that the headquarters should have been based in Waterford City. Waterford City is the gateway city. It has the population figures, it has the critical mass. Uh, we consider that it has the Institute of Technology and hopefully the university in the area as well. It would have made sense uh, geographically uh, and economically for Waterford City to have been chosen as the headquarters for the VEC. Um, I'm disappointed that the uh, advisor closed off any option to a change in the Minister's decision, uh, despite the fact that he did say it was a very close call and that it was a very finely balanced decision that the uh, Minister arrived at. Uh, there was questions around the application of the criteria and there was also issues around information that we sought. But despite the fact that he did commit to coming back with the information, it is a disappointment that uh, the Minister's mind seems to be fixed and that there is no um, alternative proposals being considered by the Minister. I'd like to just uh, reiterate some of the points and agree with the Senator here that uh, we've been at this meeting and we felt we could influence perhaps the decision uh, and maybe revisit the decision which uh, is a huge disappointment for Waterford City that the head office of the new Education and Training Boards would be in Wexford. We set out uh, a very comprehensive document uh, arguing against the criteria that the Minister has told us. We feel we have valid points uh, um, which would counter any of those uh, criteria. In particular, the criteria of cost, uh, also in terms of population, again the cluster of uh, population in Mortar City is, is, should be a critical point, again hasn't been taken into account. Also um, the critical mass that's in Waterford City in terms of 32 schools, an IT, a College of Further Education, headquarters for the FOSS at the moment, all of those should be taken into account but unfortunately we're not. So we're disappointed with the decision and we're very particularly disappointed today in the fact that the advisor has told us that this decision will not be changed or cannot be influenced at this stage.